preparing us. How much do we love ourselves? It's not how much you love God. It's not how much you love. How much do you love yourself? God is everywhere. God will not live in hell. Where God is, is bliss and paradise. It's not how much you love God. It's how much you love yourself that you will not go to hell. How much are you willing to take? For God so loved the world that he gave everything. Because when you give your life, you give everything. Joseph endured the abuse. The word of God said Joseph was a just man. And he thought to put away Mary privately. And the angel had to appear to him to console him. And to say, don't be afraid to take unto thee Mary. Don't. Because the God man that is in her is to redeem you. Christ, without Christ in us, virgin, we have no hope. Christ in us, the hope of glory. Christ in Mary was the consolation of the world. Not only the consolation of Israel, the consolation of the world. The topic says to us this morning, rejoice, rejoicing with great joy. Buy the lot of tomorrow and win the lot of the 300 million. All when you're sleeping, you're laughing. You're not smiling, you're laughing when you're sleeping. You're sleeping. That's perishable goods. The yacht and the house and the hill and living in the Hamptons, it's nothing. The Bible said Christ in you, the hope of glory. We should rejoice with exceeding great joy. Stop coming to church and let people tell us stand up and give God thanks. Aren't you grateful? This is not a collective salvation. Christ in you. You experience a mere experience the baby moving inside of you. Show gratitude. Rejoice with exceeding joy. Show God that God I'm grateful. Mary said God because I'm grateful. I only can see my little earnings for the year and buy some ointment to wash your feet. This is showing gratitude. Every time you come, they have to beg you to give God thanks. Rejoice with great joy. Show God that you are grateful. For God so loved us. What is man that thou art mindful of him? Because I am in man. Animals could not relate to God. Man could relate to God because God, human, humus, God in man. So God could relate to man. God don't relate to dirt. Animal is so, so dirt. It doesn't matter how big and magnificent they look. Because God can relate to you because he's in you. Show some gratitude, no man. For God so love you. You will never see a elephant walk in here. And said, oh, I come to give God thanks for the grass this morning. Oh no. For God's soul, you were made in his image and in his likeness. I cannot know that you're happy within your heart. Make his praise glorious. Rejoice. Oh, Sister Donna, I'm so happy. I'm just sitting here quiet, so happy. Oh, I'm sitting here. I'm so happy, but I, I have to just keep it to myself. You're lying to yourself. <laughs> you cannot run like the woman at the well. It is impossible. Jeremiah said, I feel like fire shut up within my bone. This is Jeremiah. Oh, I feel like fire shut up. Light a matches and throw it down in her clothes. The Lord bless you this morning. Rejoice with great joy. The Lord bless you this morning. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus. At this time I invite Elder John. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
Isn't that good? Amen. Getting there by everything. Praise God. Praise God. Give God some praise, give God hallelujah, some praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We don't deserve any praise. Amen, amen, hallelujah. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Praise God. Jesus is the reason for the season, amen? Amen. Praise God, praise God. Thank my bishop, praise God. Time for so many of you who pray for me. I think uh, sometimes some of us, you know, for the mandate, we will not take what we are supposed to take, amen? But thank God. Mm -hmm. I'm here today. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. You see, sometimes you go through situations so you can understand what people go through. You know, because I can actually count when I'm really sick. Never. But you just wake up in the morning, you go out, you don't understand the providence of God. You don't understand what people who don't have that chance that you have or that privilege. Because God actually every day beautify you, renew your blood with his blood. You don't really get sick, and so you don't really think about it. Amen? Amen. But when you go to a sick, this is what people really go through. Think about it. So it makes you appreciate God more. Amen? Amen. So God is a good God. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Uh, I was lis listening to Sister Donna this morning. And I try to mirror whatever is happening today with what Paul actually preached when he was contending with the Greeks. You see, one good thing, I'm glad that I actually had my first degree in Greece. I studied there, did my first engineering degree there. But it's so amazing to see that they don't go to the house of worship. They don't worship God. They are, they are orthodox religion. And if you try to preach to them, they will listen intently, and at the end they will laugh. They will say to you, uh, the New Testament is written in what language? Then you will say written in Greek. Okay. So you are trying to tell me that you live all the way from Africa to come and preach the word to us. It's good. You see, those who go to church are sinners. So they go there, get repent, and come out to be like us on the outside. That actually have good manners, good behavior. And it's a fact. Because sometimes, I could remember there was a day I went to a place I was trying to do some little job, but when I got to the place, I was so hungry, so I went to the restaurant. I had very little money, and I tried to ask the guy not to make the meal too, too much that I cannot afford. He said, just sit down, sit down, eat. You know, by the time I finished and I want to pay, he said, don't worry, that guy that was over there paid for your meal. Amen. They are very nice people. But there's one thing that really struck me when Paul was talking in the book of Acts chapter 17 from verse 26 to 20, 27. You see, and had made of all blood all nation of men for to dwell in all on the face of the earth and had determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. So, humanity came from one single source. Yes. Amen. One common ancestry. Amen. God established nations and set their boundaries. If you look at the book of Deuteronomy and Daniel. So, the Greeks actually consider their race superior to others. And if you look at our world today, there are a group of people who consider their race superior to what? To others. So whatever is happening now has happened before. So you should not be fooled. Coming to understand the word of God that we came from one ancestry. Praise God. And that is a knowledge that you should know if you read the word of God. Amen? There were two groups of people in the Greek society. 
Some of them, one is called Stoic, and the others are Epicureans. The Stoic, Paul was trying to explain to them, they believe, they believe that, they believe in self-determination and in self-government. But the Epicureans believe in pleasure and life of abundance where they don't need God to intervene. And if you look at that today, there are those after God brought them out of ashes to somewhere, they no longer have need for God. And they say they are self-sufficient, they are economically what? Stable. Praise God. But that does not mean that God did not come for you. That does not mean you're going to forget where God brought you from. And I always try to remind myself where God brought me from. I knew what I used to be, and I knew where I am today. Blessing, we talk about, is not contingent upon just your wishes or monetary gain. When you are not sick, you are blessed. Amen. When you can wake up in the morning and put on clothes, you are blessed. Amen. When you can wake up in the morning and have food on your table, you are blessed. Amen. So be content in every state you find yourself. Amen. So don't say, oh, I am going to keep struggling tomorrow. I'm going to, there's going to be a time for me to, to, to be happy. You should be happy now. Amen. Seize the moment, amen? amen? Seize the moment that you have. Praise the Lord. It is so important to understand the season that we are. Because Jesus, he did not come to condemn the world. Praise God. In the book of John 3, 19 to 20, 21, which I think my sister also went through, he said, and this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world. And men love darkness rather than light. Because, you know why? They are this were evil. And today in our society, it's now populated with what? Lies. And people are thriving in lies. And God came for the truth. He said, You shall know the truth, and the truth shall do what? Set you free. Praise God. He didn't come to condemn the world. He didn't come to condemn you and I for our sin. But he took your sin and I upon himself on the cross. Like she said today, how many billion people on earth? He took the pain of every one of us. Think about it. Compare them a million amen, times, amen. billion times. So that you and I will be free. And one of that things she talked about here. When Hera said, okay, if you get a word, come tell me so I can go and also watch you. And that's why when you come to the house of God, come with your sickness, disease, and all that. But do not leave the same way you came. Amen. You live here healed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You live here free from the shackle of sin. Amen. Amen. You live here free from bondage. Amen. Uh -huh. This is what the church is all about. The church is not a political arena. Amen. The church is not a place where you want to have, I mean, you want to struggle for position. Amen. God has given every one of us different gifts and several abilities. Amen. Amen. Some have great faith. Some have medium faith. Amen. And the Bible says some have no faith. faith Amen. 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 But that does not mean we cannot lift up one another. Amen. For Christ came. He did not come to condemn anyone. So when we're in the house of God, do not pull down anyone. Praise God. Lift up one another. Yeah. I always say here over and over again, church is the last hope for humanity. Amen. When you are rejected in the world, this is where we embrace you. Amen. When you are not loved in the world, this is where you come for comfort. Amen. For love and consolation. Amen. Amen. Is God not a good God? Amen. Thank God for all that he has done.
and thank God for the season that we are today because it made it possible for us to celebrate and to look back on the cross. Amen? Amen. Look back on his birth. Praise God. Can we just say, uh, clap our hands to the Lord? Praise Lord. the Lord. Praise God. I want my pastor to come in. Thank you. Yes, sis. Yes, that means um, Mary is not legally Jesus' mother because her, her blood is not. Okay, what? The birth of Jesus. You see, if you test a man, if you test a child, it's almost like 90% of that blood is of the man, right? God wants to call up that Adamic nation. So she was conceived of the Holy Ghost. You understand that? It's a divine, it's a divine plan of God. And that is a revelation I got. Praise God. Because you can understand those society, those days. If you say you are pregnant, who pregnated you? Mm -hmm. And it's like you would be rejected. Amen? Yes. Not married. Yes. But God has already touched the heart of Joseph. Amen? Amen. <laughs> when God is in something, <laughs> you don't have a say in it. Amen? He prepared the heart of the man to accept the woman. Praise God. Because he is God. You see, that that, was, that that is in you is conceived of what? The Holy Ghost. Amen? Amen. Praise God. He cut that Adamic nation off. Praise God. God bless can you, um, our sister, um, can you explain when Jesus said he went down to hell and take the key? It's not a literal key, but can you explain? Like, it's not, it's not really a key. Like when you used to open your door. Because we, because we know the power of a key. A yes. key gives you access, authority. For you to come in the church here, if no one is here, the door would be closed. But Jesus, because he became man, he was God over the spirit world, he had to come in man to do his transaction. But when the breath left the body, the body was there, yes. so the spirit went down to preach to those that died hope of him and said, hey, I am Lord over all. I was Lord in the heavens. I give domination to man. But I came on earth because I become the God man. So now I can rule on earth, heaven, and beneath the earth. So the key just showed authority. Okay, just to add to that, you must remember that when God asked Michael to kick out Lucifer, he made him the prince and the power of the earth, right? Yes, yes. He gave him that authority then. Yes. So, like she said, he symbolized authority, power. Amen? So while they were celebrating that the Son of Man is already dead, right? Yes. It was not over. Mm. And when the door was knocked, when God knocked the door, you see, he asked a question. You see, I think it's the book of Psalm. He said, Be ye lifted up, right? Ye everlasting door, that the King of glory will come in. Then the question was asked, Who is this King of glory? He said, The Lord strong and mighty. And the Lord mighty in what? Battle. So their celebration was short lived when they opened the door. Amen? Amen. So, and that is why you have that power today. You have that power and that spiritual yes. authority. Because demons tremble at the sound of that name. Yes. Amen. You know a demon-possessed individual cannot actually call the name Jesus. Because that is, that is something that they cannot handle. That name, you don't use that name in vain. Amen? Amen. Anytime you use that name, something is bound to happen. Amen? Amen. Even if you come in that crash and just call the name Jesus, that crash will not be as severe as when you don't call that name. Amen. Amen? Praise God. God is good. Any more questions? Let me give it to our bishop. Put your hands together. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All right, I'm going to revisit one of the questions. Yes. The question that they asked, the first one. What was it again? Okay, what's the hands of the 
bishop in this part. <laughs> um, but Ashenberg said what 90 percent of DNA. Legally, Mary is the mother of Jesus. Yes. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Is she is not the mother of God. Amen. But she's the mother of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is God. Amen. Yes. But one part is the flesh. Yes. So as the son of man, Jesus was. Mary was the mother Jesus. of Jesus. As the son of God, Joseph was not the father. Amen. Mm. So you have to have a mother and a father. So Mary is not the mother of God, because God is without mother, father, beginning of days or end of life. But she was the mother of Jesus, the fleshy part. Because God was in Christ, reconciling the world to himself. So the visible part of God, which is the son of God, Amen. Mary was the mother of that part. So he was 100% man yes. and 100% God. The visible part of God is what you see, what you touch, what you handle, what hungry, what thirsty. The invisible part of him was God wrapped up the spirit in the flesh. On the Mount of Transfiguration, that was Jesus, you see, you handle, you touch. Yes. But when he unwrapped himself, the fill like right. did, men. Right, so we have to understand he was not just half human and half God. Holy, holy God. He was a hundred percent man and a hundred percent God. Right? So we cannot deny the fact that we have the Father, we have the Son, we have the Holy Ghost. There are not three distinct persons, they are offices. Right? So you have to understand that. So there is the Son of God. Yes. There is God and there is the Holy Ghost. Yeah. So his father from creation, from Genesis to Malachi, Malachi, he's just a father, no son. Right? From Matthew to Acts, son. or to John, is the son, that's what you see mm -hmm. for his redemptive act, a fountain yeah. filled with blood. Mm -hmm. He went back to heaven. He came from God, which is from divinity to humanity in the flesh. And he went back to God. So when he went back to God, he came as the Holy Ghost. So from Acts to Revelation, he is the Holy Ghost. So um, Genesis to Malachi, Father. Matthew to John, Son. Acts to Revelation, Holy Ghost. Spirit. So they all, you never see all three at the same time. Right. So Jesus said that the, the pause to with God, was spirit, was in Christ, Christ flesh, reconciling, bringing back the world to himself. Because as spirit, he could not be touched. He could not be handled. Right? So he have to rub, insulate in flesh. As I always use the illustration of the current wires. You know, I can, I can hold this. I can grab this, right? Mm -hmm. But if I if I if I just take the rubber off, see, touch it if you think about it. <laughs> right? So God was that the raw current. But he wrapped up in flesh so he could be touched and I'm Yes. Amen. 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 Right? Amen. So when you look at Jesus, you're looking upon God wrapped yes. in flesh. So the part, the wrapping, is Mary's son, one hundred percent. Amen. Also, do you recall when Moses said he wants to see God? What did God say? That no man can see me and live. If he didn't rub himself in flesh, that glory will consume all of us. We cannot see, look at God. The glory will be so much. Amen. So I think uh, you did Yes, really yes. So the only way he could be handled and touched, even the Bible, the Old Testament still say men see God, 
but it, it has to manifest. It has to manifest. Yes, yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, early on, Minister John said, demons cannot call the name of Jesus. The sons of Skifo. When they said, um, when they rebuked the demons, the demon said, Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. Who are you? Okay, well, uh, maybe Elder John can explain. explain. I can explain it, but maybe you need to add. Okay, all right. Um, they can say Jesus. The sinner can say, anybody can say Jesus. But where the authority of using the name of Jesus is concerned, they have got no authority. Yes, but just to say the name, they can. I would appreciate when we use words, we explain. Yes. Break it down as simple as simple as we can be. Right. Yes, so, 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 so that, that, that's very important for all. So, so everybody go on with the same, the same understanding. Amen. Are we that much clearer now? And this is why whenever there is a, um, when the Bible class and the school are even preaching from the pulpit, I like to see when people have pens and paper, and if something goes across they don't understand, take a note and question us, because you must go away with clarity. All right? Put those hands together. Praise God. Let's open the name of Lord. Let us stand as we close. Um, hold on, just before we go. Where is this a bed for you? She's on the side. Okay, uh, we have another class. So we have to try to fit it. We are not here just to teach, to just go repeating, repeating, repeat. We need to go on. Amen. We have to leave the principal part Amen. to go on. Amen. So these lessons that you are sitting on today, make sure you learn them so that we can move on. So we don't have to keep coming back as if we're walking in a circle. Right? Another step is the close this segment. Thank you, Jesus. Oh yes. Father, Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Here we are, Lord, in your presence. We give you the honor, we give you the praise. It is due unto your holy name. You are God and the only God. You are God, and there is none like you. Here we are, Jesus. I thank you for your word. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for your people. Thank you for the teachers, oh God. Thank you for these wonderful lessons. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us, dear God, to apply them to our lives so we better men and women, oh God Almighty, as we walk as children of God. I pray now, Father, that as we have come to the end of this segment, oh God, this session, that you, with heaven's choicest blessings, you will give it to your people. Pour it down upon us, O oh God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, that the words will find roots in our hearts. Oh God, let your will be done, Father, as I give you thanks now, in Jesus' name. And all God people say, Amen. Amen. Praise our God at this time. We're going to consecrate ourselves for service.